Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for Bible study? Yes, I am. How about you? I hope so. Yes, we have a wonderful time. We had a wonderful time on Sunday. We see behind you, we talked about uh, Peter says uh, that Jesus is what? The Messiah. And so wonderful lesson because one thing the focus was not God wants us to do is to practice talking his word yes so we're gonna dig a little deeper in the lesson we had on sunday but before that i want to say welcome everyone to the bates memorial three me ministry and the three stands for do you have church do you have bible study and do you have what prayer all righty so did you read your challenge to, uh, this week i hope so if not you still got plenty of time you dive back in there and read that word so that you get everything that god has for you all righty so we want to go ahead and we want to say parents i do want to thank you i didn't say it on sunday but i'm gonna say it again thank god for you those individuals that allow our young people to stay connected here with us in our three me ministry here at Bates Memorial. I want to say thank you so much and God bless you and your family real good. If I have any first time viewers that are, uh, are with us right now, I want to say thank God for you and that you uh, be blessed and God bless you real good as well. So tune in and listen. As I said on Sunday, we want to really, really be serious. Uh, taking it to the next level is giving God 110% in all that we do. So if we are serious about reading God's word and becoming this fully developed uh, disciple that he wants us to, we got to make sure we give God 100% in anything we do. So here we are at Bible study. So we want to make sure that there's no distraction, okay? No TV on, no radio on. There's no other conversation, voices around you. Get in a place, quiet, cozy, by yourself, make sure you in front of the camera, you have your Bible, you have your Bible, <laughs> your Bible, yes, your Bible, and you have your brain ready to receive the word of God because God wants to bless you. He wants you to know him better. He wants you to develop a relationship with him that will grow deeper and deeper so that he can allow you to live this life that he has for you. And it's a beautiful thing. All righty. So let us go ahead and get started. Uh, I will be reading the question of the week at the end of our time. So let us bow our heads and let us close our eyes so that we can go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you for uh, this day. We thank you for every uh, viewer right now that is under the sound of my voice. Lord, we just ask that you would just touch their heart right now in a special way, Father God, so that they can just feel your presence, knowing that it's something that is taking place. Oh, Father God, Lord, I just thank you for this This. Uh, time and another opportunity, Father God, that you use me to share your word uh, with your people, the children, and all those that are listening, oh Father God. Now, Lord, have your way, oh Father God. Move in the way you want to uh, uh, speak in, in such a way uh, that you want to, Lord. Father God, bless in such a way, Lord, the way you want to bless. And Lord, Father God, we forevermore to give your name all the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. All righty. So the title of the lesson is Peter Says That Jesus Is The Messiah. Now we know we read the, the lesson on Sunday, but I'm just going to give you an overview uh, of how it was, is that Jesus was in the setting of his disciples and Jesus asked them the question, who do people say that I am? And so Jesus was asking them, you talk with people, you around people, well, who are people saying I, I'm, uh, who I am? And so they started naming all the people said he was Elijah, he was um, Jeremiah, that he was John the Baptist, and that he was even a prophet. Uh, so, but then Jesus said, okay, you know, I know that they've been following me and they see me do miracles and they see me uh, feed uh, the, over 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread. You know, they see me turn the wine into water. Yes, a blind man, he couldn't see, but God allowed him to see. I mean, we can go on and on with all those wonderful things that God did and shared with the disciples as they walked with him. And then Jesus turned the question on and said, who do you say I am? Yes. And so I share with you all, you got to be able to answer that question for yourself. Okay. Even you younger people, God want you to answer that question on your own. You being your very young age, you're going to need to answer that question. 
who do you say Jesus is? Okay. So the focus of the lesson was we have to practice what? Talking God's word. Practice talking God's word. So I want to spend most of my time, really all of my time today, sharing with you how can we practice talking God's word, okay? And I will believe I have three. So number one is, what am I doing right now? I am sharing the word of God with you, okay? So I'm sharing the word of God with you. And uh, uh, so what you, 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 you what, what, what I, so once I share it with you, it's something about the word of God. It has a way of blessing us. And the word of God can be so powerful and so indescribable at times is that, you know, God will, will fill our hearts and our minds with his and our soul with his word that we just can't wait to go and tell somebody. Yes. And you say, oh, I had a powerful word from the Lord. Look what the word of God, the word of God says, no matter how bad things be, he loves us no matter what. And he will forgive us if we just confess our sins. And that made me be set free because I thought that that could never happen. The word of God does that. So going and share the word of God with someone, uh, with you receiving it at a, in a setting like this, Bible study, uh, church time, go and share somebody with what you heard from the Lord. So that's one way. The next thing is uh, praising God. God's working miracles out in your life and he's doing things that's supernatural and he's opening your mind up to so much stuff. Guess what? You started praising God, okay? And you start giving God all the praise and then what you do, you be in conversations with individuals and you start telling people of your testimony how good God's been to you. And when you start telling people how God's being good to you, guess what? You're going to entwine God's word there and you're going to share the word of God. Amen. So that's the second one is praising God and sharing with people your testimony. Okay. And then the first was what? When you go to church, when you go to Bible study and you have your word, go share the word of God with someone uh, uh, of what, how God blessed you uh, through you hearing the word of God. Okay. Uh, the last is just what I'm doing. Go and share the word with your children, your friends, uh, your granny, and people in senior homes, all of these things. Go and share God's word, okay? Open the Bible up and say, let us read God's word, okay? Uh, a last one I got in my spirit. Guess what? When people have problems and situations in their life, and it's going to happen, guess what? You can always give them a scripture. You can tell them, God said, in this world, we're going to have trials and tribulation. But the Bible tells us that Jesus said, take heart, I've already overcome uh, 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 the world. Meaning, everything that I've overcome, guess what? Victory is already yours. So you just hold in there, and you remember God's word, and you do everything that you know that God's telling you to do. And guess what? You've already won the battle. It's yours. Amen? So you can encourage people through their their, their down times in their lives and, and trials and tribulations, what they go with sharing the word of God. Amen? So it's been a blessing. Those are four ways that you can share the word of God. And that's how you can practice it. And as you do that, guess what? You're going to get to know God more, better, deeper, and more in your life. And that's what God wants for, okay? So practice, practice, practice talking God's word, okay? Children, don't you forget that, okay? Because I know God's been good to you. And all of my other viewers, God's been good to all of us. And can't nobody tell it like we can because it's a personal thing, all righty? So, all righty, but go tell it. All righty, so here we have is our question of the week. And I want to let you all know, if you was with me on Sunday, I slipped and said it, but I didn't say nothing. The second time when I repeated it, I said the answer. So I didn't make no big fuss at all. I didn't try to not to make no face expressions to let you know that I slipped up and said the answer. So I wonder you say, I bet some of you all that on regular, you probably saying, I heard you. I knew it. I knew you said it. Yeah, yeah. So 
Well, all right. But before I said it, I want to know, did you know it yourself? All righty. So I do have James, uh, James chapter two, and it's verse 20 is where we're going to find our answer to our question of the week. And the question of the week said, faith without blank is useless. And we were saying the word useless can be the same as dead. Okay. So here it is in this scripture, this uh, translation reads uh, a little different. But it says, you foolish person, must you be shown that faith that does nothing is worth nothing? Mm. So faith should lead you into doing good works and all good things for the Lord. That's just what faith does, okay? So faith without works is useless. Faith without works is dead. That's what James chapter 2 Verse 20 says, all righty. So I hope you all was able to uh, share, uh, to uh, view in our Black Story Time on Monday at five o'clock. Continue to be with us. Um, for those that may be adults, uh, older, we have so many other opportunities online, um, services and so forth, Facebook, YouTube and all. So just continue to look us up at Bates Memorial. Uh, and you will be able to find all those uh, different things that we have going on here. Uh, I just want to say God is good. And it's been a wonderful time. And I'm going to continue to practice talking God's word. And my prayer is that you do as well. Continue to be encouraged to read your Bible challenge each and every day. All right. We'll close in prayers and I'll let you all go. Let us bow our head and close our word. Uh, let us bow our heads and close our eyes. Father God, we thank you so much for this time of Bible study, just reminding us and um, us all and even sharing with others that we supposed to practice talking your word. Lord, thank you for the examples and how we can uh, practice talking your word. Oh, Father God, we know that your word is so powerful that when we receive the word from you, Father God, we just can't keep it to ourselves. We got to go share it with someone. So Lord, just lead and guide us that it may fall on the hearts and ears of those that really truly need your word at that time, oh Lord. And then those that are going through trials and tribulation and hard times in their lives, Lord, give us that word that we need to share with them. Then Lord, when you've been so good and we got praise report, you answered prayers, Lord, let us go share it. And through the sharing of our testimonies and what you've done, Lord, let your word, powerful word, be in there just to enlighten that individual and bless them according to your way for their very life at that moment. Then, Lord, Lord, when we hear your word, whether we uh, Bible study in church and uh, anywhere else, Lord, that we can go and share with others what you have given us. And, Lord, we just thank you. Let us be able to start our own Bible study at home. Just open the word up and just let him three, four people be there and read the word of God, praying that the Holy Spirit would have its way and do what it always do is blessing and, and, um, and um, sharing and understanding and just open us up to, to know it the way we need to at that time for those particular things that's going on in our life. Oh, Father God, we love you, Lord. And we just want to continue to practice talking your word throughout each and every day of our lives. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All righty, it's been uh, amazing being with you guys, and I hope to see you all on this Sunday coming. Uh, join somebody else. Tell somebody come on in and join and be here with us for 15, 20 minutes tops uh, and get a little word of God and watch your life be changed. Uh, until next time, you all stay blessed and stay safe. And you just keep on doing God's will. See ya. Bye-bye.